I'm Devin Pelican, lead engineer of our custom products group. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our high performance power electronics cooler. These are intended to cool power electronics up to about 10 kilowatts of power. The power electronics get mounted onto the cold plate in these locations and it's cooled via the thermosiphon effect. Inside the cold plate is a working fluid that's dielectric. The fluid is returned to the cold plate via the condenser in a downcomer and then the working fluid boils as it flows across the heated components. The boiling effect is very efficient and creates an extremely efficient thermal management system. As the vapor travels to the top here, it condenses in our air-cooled condenser and then falls back down via gravity. The entire process is driven without any moving parts and only requires a fan to provide the air cooling. Existing power electronics coolers typically come in either heat pipe solutions or single phase cooling solutions. The single phase liquid cooling requires a pump, which can be high cost and low reliability. The heat pipe solutions, while passive like this solution here, they can be relatively high cost and they also have a limit on the amount of power they can handle. Heat pipe solutions can handle up to about eight kilowatts of power. This solution can handle greater than 10 kilowatts. These systems are different than typical liquid cooling systems in that they don't require any pump to operate. The liquid circulation happens naturally via the thermosiphon effect. So that means high reliability and mean time between failures greater than 10 years. They're also extremely efficient. The boiling process has heat transfer coefficients greater than 100,000 watts per meter squared Kelvin. That results in extremely low cold plate temperatures for any given heat flux. It also is a very low cost solution. It only involves a working fluid, a cold plate, and a condenser. Very simple parts.